Hello, Paramotor Club, boar chasers flying. Currently sat in traffic trying to get past a crash or something. Most of my kit repaired after last weekend's shenanigans. I've uh, got an A-line to replace when I get to the field. I'm looking forward to it, my first flying. It's about two and a half hours from home. I've got about an hour left to go. I'm trying to save the battery on this camera, so... Talking about camping gear again. It's not probably, probably not the first time. Yeah, it's difficult to start. People are having some great difficulty. You show them how it's done, Paul. Oh. <laughs> Don't. Okay, that's, that's pressure. <laughs> Let's see if that prop strikes there. Yeah, you'll be all right. Should, no, should, should be all right. It's also set back quite a bit. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. Ready? What happened there? Same thing as what happened to it. The huh? wind must be slightly off on that side. What? That way. That way? Yeah. 
it's nerve wracking, isn't it, in front of all these people? The wind's a bit funny, to be fair. It's probably slightly better at it in this angle. We're now tracking the same direction as him, so. Yeah. Okay. I think you can get an unlucky moment where it is suddenly shifting and doing things, so it's. It felt very light, it felt very. You, to be fair, what you needed to do, Paul, is just give it a bit more blow. On a that bit more blow way. straight away, yeah. yeah. Right, let's do this. Nil win. Right, let's have this this time. Just not enough action going on, not enough kicking it in the guts. Stay line seems to be holding, absolutely lovely. Thanks again to the loft. Ordered it Sunday night, arrived Tuesday morning. Cannot complain at that. £9.60. There are actually rules here with the holding areas and turning in certain directions. I think it was clockwise. But I don't really know who I'm uh, who I'm waiting for. So we've got a Berg Sentry just somewhere over there south of us. It's quite a biggie as well. Uh, a row of pylons crossing the river there that go down. Big ones. You'll probably see them in the distance there. On the other shore. There's a fly-in. Never been to one before. It's awesome. Lots of people camping and you get woken up at 7am by a two-stroke. What more can a man want? Check it out. It looks tiny from up here. It's like a maze when you're in that trying to find the burger van of a morning. Yeah, I don't feel so bad. I'm not the only one who's fluffed the launch this morning. Far from it. It's nil wind and you've got like all skill levels. Okay, watch for the lines. We're going to do a nice pass along the front if no one's setting to take off. Yeah, great location. All organised by paramotorclub.org there's the link on the screen I'll put it in the description below for ease of clicking Simon Westmore runs that and what a job he does this won't be my last flying yeah a little bit rocky only a tad though wag all the legs ah that must be the uh, fireworks set up in that van down there it's got Simon's sticker on the side and it's all roped off. As well as running like, what I think is the biggest paramotor club in the area, in the country. He's also a firework crackhead. And I uh, didn't get the chance to fire his fireworks at the uh, the big PMC summer fly-in. So he's brought them all up here. Look at these sandbars. I bet that's mud a foot deep.
keep an eye out for other paramotors as well. Risk of collision if you don't keep your eyes open. Also nice to meet so many people that watch these videos, you know? Just names in comments or YouTube usernames or whatever. And then like, some nice guy comes up and says, oh yeah, I'll watch your videos. More offers of travelling to other places in the country to fly different scenery. More opportunities for smashing stuff up in weather I'm not used to. Yeah, this is pretty gorgeous. The wind is switchy. Sometimes it feels like I'm into wind and then I'll turn and then that feels like it's into wind. So there's a wave. That's not the seven bore, which is a sort of surfable wave. I don't think so anyway, unless I just happened to be up here at the exact time that it was coming. Where do I glide to if I have an engine out? Left bank. Look before you turn, noob. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty cool. They're in a sort of way, way up a tidal estuary. But the tide obviously at some times. Look at that. The river's flowing in the opposite direction. But when, when you get a big one of these, you get surfers out here on the river. So I'm told, waiting at the sort of hot spots where it narrows and the, the surge strengthens. The body borders and that, and they'll surf up it. Yeah, I'm not going to stay up too long. We've got up for a flight. I do want to get down to the bridges. You cross the river and fly down the other side, avoiding the bird sanctuary and a couple of power stations. There's uh, two big bridges over the river. Uh, like a little castle thing down there. Yeah, baby. Let's see if we can follow this guy. But a little bit higher. Oh, he's turning around. Look for lions, look for lions. Nothing over here. across the front here just as someone's trying to launch so I'll give it some space ready to spin around. I'm going to do a practice landing. It's going to be quick whatever happens. Coming over the go-kart track. Is that horses or cows over there? Stay away from there. That fog this morning though, I would like to have had the balls to get up in that. I bet it looked awesome. Got a launch happening. Oh, I see another fluff. It's difficult. Shall I land? No, I'll go round again and come in. With no comms, the difficulty of organising like a bunch of you flying somewhere is these guys I just met pretty much. I don't know what wings they've got or anything like that. I don't know if they're up waiting for others or, or me. So I'm going to put down and have a coffee. Right, let's have a nice landing in front of all these people. No one's going to laugh at you. Well, not to your face. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy trying. Go on, boy. He's got it. I can look at a sock actually. Yeah, now they say it's coming from my right. So I reckon if I turn just over 90 degrees now, according to those socks, I'll be into wind, what little wind there is. And if it feels like it is, then I'll try and land, although it's in pretty much the opposite direction to what everyone else is doing. Yeah, it is, you know. land from this direction. Yeah, I'm going to come in over that van. Okay, nice flat turn. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I don't know, the socks say one thing and those guys take it off all saying another thing. This feels into it. OK, 
Okay, here's from Iran. Yeah, that was messy. The wind is a bit switchy, so... I reckon they're, they're never in a downwind. Look at that sock over there, the orange one. Right, enough of this. See the shadow behind me. This is downwind. I'm going to do what the sock tells me. Yeah, he's doing it. He's landing. That's alright, me too. Right, engine off. We're going down. Stay into wind. Bit of a long skid there, but we're down. <laughs> Nervous times in front of all these people. That was a messy old launch, wasn't it? Yeah, well, the, the guy just there lost the prop, so... Did he? Yeah. Uh, I think I saw that happen. suit, no gloves, and it is a bit fresh. Yeah, a little rocky. A little rocky. Bloody cold last night. I had ice on the outside of my tent. Two sleeping bags, slept in all my clothes. So I'm going to go out straight ahead. Look at that sort of bright white building in those trees. Many outs just here. Yeah, another guy down there. Flies in Cornwall. Asked if I wanted to go down there to fly with him. I said yes please. I want to travel around as much as possible. And everyone has been lovely. Every single person I've spoken to has been really nice. It's a good crowd. Yeah, look at this, flying at midday. It's a tad rocky, you know, nothing to worry about at all. Okay, my out right now is this field down below. be that one ahead of me with the wires running down this side of it. Hello River Seven. Looking muddy. I can't bounce a cruise for a little bit. Now I'm safe over the river. Lots of lines down there. There's two big power stations just down the coast. Uh, they both have got basically clear airspace above them. Not clear as in restricted airspace. 
Okay, 12.13. Wonder if I'm losing oil. No way to see from here. I think I can see the castle down there on the right. Oh, that's a power station. And the bridge is right over there in the distance. Probably don't show. But yeah, that'll be a nice flight actually. Into it all the way though. Yeah, that peninsula is going to look pretty cool. Let me turn around to see it. Okay. I think this will do. Have a spin round. Okay, let's do this. structures within 500 foot of it and it might be a bit warmer down there fingers going numb it's time for a coffee I'm trying to look at things to sort of ascertain, ascertain wind direction but nothing's moving much down here okay I'm going to stay away from these horses a little bit but well, they're not horses they're cows don't get those two mixed up in the butchers. Morning. So I cruise along here, swing out over the water, gain a bit of altitude, come into land. Yeah, okay, so in the continual effort to sort of understand wind, I think it's rocky here due to rotor from all those trees over there. I think we could test it by going higher, but we've got to come to land here, so Let's see where those socks are pointing. Look at which way everyone's set up, but don't trust them. Okay, let's start losing height and nail a landing. Where's that sock pointing? Straight across the field. Try and land in that top corner. Yeah, it's a bit switchy, a bit gusty. I think it's time to be on the ground. nailing it. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Just here should be some footage from a lovely flight that I had on my own down towards the bridges. But my new GoPro, it turns out, doesn't work nicely with all memory cards and I had a chase cam attached as well, which I got from uh, Martin off of Yorkshire and I 
and forgot to turn it on. I turned around in flight and saw it behind me and then remembered that I hadn't turned it on. So I spent an hour kicking myself for that. But I got down to the bridges, well pretty much to the bridges, I was about two miles away in the end before I turned back. It was slow going into that headwind. But there were some lovely views there, the sun going down, getting low behind the bridges. And then I got down low myself, messed around with some of the mud flats on the river. It all looked really gorgeous and I'm gutted that I haven't got it. But perhaps it's just as well, otherwise this video would have been a two-parter. Sunday morning, I was up and out of there. It was my little girl's birthday, so I had to squirt off straight away. I just hung around on the field for half an hour or so to see Clive and Steve and another guy get all their orcas up in the air at one time. Um, so there was some nice footage of these three giant wings hovering around. for trying to explain the paramotor open navigation to a drunk person. That must have been quite painful. Clive was there doing tandems. You see those big wings, the three all up at once. If anybody fancies getting a taste for paramotor and without having to buy one, then uh, check out Clive at the link down below. You get a good long flight there. He'll let you steer it. He'll natter away to you all the way through it get you up, get you down and give you a really good time. So give him a shout. And thanks to Nigel, Tim, Alison, Tracy, Pete for letting me camp next to you, feeding me. I really enjoyed it. I owe some people some burgers. But now I need to get home and have a shower. That we are 